NMN is a compound that's found naturally in foods at your neighborhood produce department. The compound may also slow down the process of aging, at least in mice. Researchers at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis achieved success when inactive older mice became active again. But will NMN work in people? There are all kinds of anti-aging products and supplements for sale. One hot trend is NMN supplements. Nicotinamide mononucleotide is advertised by many companies at a range of affordable prices. After all, it is a natural chemical compound. Our bodies produce NMN and it's found in produce we eat like broccoli, cabbage, avocado, cucumbers, and edamame. Shin Ichiro Amai at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis is a leader on NMN research. The focus of his lab is basic mechanisms of aging and longevity. His research indicates NMN can possibly slow signs of aging, boost energy, and rejuvenate metabolism. But when it comes to supplements on the market, he shares a stern warning. I would caution people who are interested in NMN because uh, as far as I can tell, there are only two sources of N NMM which have been extensively tested in both rodents and humans. And uh, one is unfortunately not commercially available. This particular company uh, is providing NMM as a only a research reagent. The other company is providing a commercially available product but um, the bottom line is that right now, the production of NMN is not cheap. That's because he says producing NMN is not easy. Amai won't name what he says is the one true consumer product or company because he won't endorse a product. But he says the price tag for what he calls the real NMN, the real deal, is not considered affordable for everyone, costing an individual many thousands of dollars every year if they were to take them daily. Shin Ichiro Amai is considered an authority on the matter. He is the first researcher to prove that NMN works in mice. Our lab demonstrated that giving NMN to mice over 12 months shown in a remarkable anti-aging effect. MI says translating the results to humans indicates that NMN could provide a person with a metabolism of 10 to 20 years younger. So he's continuing his studies with what he feels is the one real nutraceutical, as he calls it, not a supplement. And this time he's conducting a human clinical trial. 30 people are involved. It's a placebo-controlled study, so only 15 of them are actually given the NMN. For each person, we are doing an extensive analysis, like a physiological assessment. So it's actually a very intensive study. And the dose we are giving is a 250 milligram per day uh, for eight to 10 weeks. We don't know the results because then it's a double blinded and a placebo controlled study. So, you know, until then we really finish the study and look into all of the results, we wouldn't know if NMN really works or not. NMN is remarkable because it really increased you know, this essential compound NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And this compound NAD is required to maintain our energy and our metabolism. Manipulating or regulating NAD is very important to activate these enzymes, sirtuins, and the sirtuins absolutely require this compound NAD for their enzymatic activities and then regulate a metabolism and eventually the process of aging and longevity. When NAD levels increase in our organs and the tissues, then our body functions are improved. This essential compound NAD is really declining over age. So basically our body is losing NAD over time. That's why when we supplement NMN, which increases NAD levels, that really significantly improves our body functions. In the mice, Amai did not see concerning side effects. He saw results, and he witnessed what he foresees as increasing the quality of life of people as they get older, increasing what he calls productive aging. 
While his clinical trial is ongoing, he says people around the world are investing in the pricey NMN nutraceutical, which is the type he's studying. There are already thousands of people who are taking NMN up there. And I have heard uh, some anecdotal stories. So, you know, so far, you know, uh, what I have heard is interesting. So we'll see, but you know, we need to prove the efficacy scientifically in human clinical trials.